Okay, so we've made it to the end. All we need to do now is create the additional slides, the new slides for our character when our character is dropped on either of the two hotspots. So let's go ahead and just build, uh, build out those slides real quick and then we will add those triggers. So I'm just gonna right click and choose new slide. And I've already got two additional slides here with a custom background for each that I set up. So I'm just gonna insert one of those. And just a, uh, a, a background a composition that I put together using the same door images and a, a, a desk. Go ahead and duplicate this by pressing Control D. So I have two doors, right? Two rooms for each of the uh, the choices. Now I'm going to right click on one of these and just cho choose uh, layout, and I'll apply the other door. So you can see that we actually set this up. So depending on which door uh, our character is dropped on, uh, she'll slide in. Looks like it came in from that appropriate side. So I'm going to call this one door left because it's closest to the door left right there. And I'll call this one door right. Okay. So at this point, I'll come back to my character and let's go ahead and add the two triggers. So jump to slide, pretty familiar trigger. And you, I, I have some other versions in here, but I can see down here at the bottom that I want to jump to my door slide. So there's my door left. And I want to do that when my character is dropped on and my character right here being Christy. And when she's dropped on the hotspot left, I'll click OK. And let's go ahead and just copy this and I'll paste it. And this time I want to, I'm going to move this up just a little bit, door right. There we go, 3-3. Three, three. And I, can, I know that this is 3-3 three, three by looking over here in uh, my slides to actually uh, match up the actual slide number. So door right, and not when she's dropped on the hotspot left, but the actual hotspot right, and that's all there is to that. So you can see the branching is already set up for us right here. Let's go ahead and add a entrance uh, transition here for the slide. So right now it's a crossfade, but you know these um, uh, uncovers will actually work pretty well. So I think I need to do opposite. If it's left, I think it's uncover right. So let's just try this real quick. And I don't want fast, medium's fine. So I'll preview the scene. And here's my character. The doors are opening. She's changing states. The doors are closing. I drop her on this door and she takes off. And then we can just have her slide in right there. So let's go ahead and select her, I'll copy. And maybe now, maybe you'd want to add another state for her, right, when she's in the actual room, something different. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just take off all of these triggers. And however you want to set it up, I'm going to leave her default state normal right here, but we could certainly add a new one that we use when she's uh, she jumps in the room. But I will have her fly in from the left and maybe bring her right around there. So now let's go ahead and just preview it one more time, the scene. So there she is, everything looks good, drop her, she goes, and then here she comes right through the door. All right, pretty neat. So pretty easy to begin adding and increasing the number of triggers and level of interactivity by slowly adding new triggers to your uh, slides in Articulate Storyline. If you have any questions, feel free to please post them in the forums and we'd be more than happy to help you out.